Queen's Gambit declined, Orthodox Defense, 7.RC1H68.BH4. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. e6 prepares for a quick d5 pawn push and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. c4 gains space on the queen side and center, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center, defends the f6 knight and controls the c5 and e5 squares. Bg5 develops the bishop and pins the knight. This kicks an opposing bishop. The bishop is now in a secure position. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This defends the attacked pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. That's a decent move. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to reveal an attack on a bishop. This permits the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is ideal. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. It is an inaccuracy. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. 
That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This wins material. This is the only good move. It is a great move. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This succeeds in capturing a helpless rook. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. That was a free pawn. It is excellent. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. Backs off. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.